Hello friends, welcome back to my cluttered living room for another picture book review assignment. So today I chose Rulers of the Playground, which is totally backwards because the cameras are, they'd be like that, by Joseph Kufler. And of course, as always, I love me some good illustrations. These ones are very unique and I love how simple but very expressive the characters are. Like, you can just tell from looking at them everything you need to know about them starting the story. Another thing I love about the story is that three of the characters, so these two kiddos right here and this kid right here, are based on and modeled after and named after the children of the artist and author. So yeah, it's all about his kiddos. And it tells a story. It's from, it was published in 2017. And I will go ahead and get started. So this is Rulers of the Playground. Give me one second. My computer is dying. And we're back. I should really learn how to edit video so I don't have to be like, oop. Let's pause during the middle of the thing because life keeps being lifey. But you know what? I don't have that kind of software or know how. But yes, rulers of the playground. One morning, Jonah decided to become the ruler of the playground. I am now the king of this land, announced Jonah. Promise to obey me, and I will let you play in my kingdom. Jonah's kingdom had slides, so everyone pinky promised. And just like that, Jonah became the ruler of the playground. King Jonah was skilled. Look at me! In some ways... I order this, in some ways, I order this tree to move. And generous, who's hungry? Most of the time, you can all share this one cracker. Everyone played in Jonah's kingdom. Everyone except for Lennox. because she wanted to rule the playground too. This side of the playground is now mine, announced Lennox. Cross your heart and promise to follow my rules. Lennox's kingdom had swings, so they crossed their hearts and they promised, and just like that, Lennox, became the almighty queen. Queen Lennox was wise. Watch this! In most cases, I totally meant to do that. And patient. Take your time, it's fine. Most days. Okay, enough already. Everyone played in Queen Lennox's kingdom. Everyone except for King Jonah. This playground is mine, hollered King Jonah. No, it's not, said, shouted Queen Lennox. It's all mine. And just like that, the playground was divided in two. Jonah, King Jonah and Queen Lennox each made a plan to grow their kingdoms. They conquered small things. Push, said King Jonah, harder. Spin, said Queen Lennox, faster. And big things. Climb, shouted King Jonah. Higher, hollered Queen Lennox. 
They even tried to conquer Augustine's dog, Sir Hamilton Humphrey Hildebrand III. Stay, hollered King Jonah. Fetch, shouted Queen Lennox. King Jonah and Queen Lennox climbed the entire playground until there was nothing left to conquer and no friends left to play with. Conquering is complicated, said King Jonah. Yeah, said Queen Lennox, super complicated. So they made a new plan. They took down their royal flags and gave back their kingdoms. Jonah stopped being king. Lennox stopped being queen. We're done conquering, said Jonah. We cross our hearts and promise to never be rulers again, said Lennox. And just like that, the playground was fun again, and everyone was happy. Except for Augustine. And Sir Hamilton Humphrey Hildebrand the Third. So yeah, I love this book. I love how dramatic it is. I love how it talks about how different sort of friend groups and sort of pitting friend groups against each other can be dangerous. This would be really useful in, say, an elementary school, I'd say first through third grade for kids who are getting really clicky if somebody was going to use this on like an elementary school level. But it's also really fun and melodramatic, and I think it would be perfect for any story time. So yes, that was Rulers of the Playground by Joseph Kufler. I will see y'all next time.